King's Math School admissions test in one take one. Oh, two take oh one. sorry. It's okay. My bad. <laughs> When I first came to do the admissions test, I was quite intimidated. When I first got into the hall, there was a lot of individual desks and we were just asked to sit down. So I had no one with me. I was just there by myself. We were allowed pens, pens. We needed those as well. We were not allowed calculators. Um, the setup was quite like a mock or a GCSE exam, but the questions were a bit different. One of the things you should know is you don't have to do all of the questions, you just have to attempt them and you just have to show whoever's marking the paper that you understand the question. There were a lot of questions I couldn't even look at. There were a lot of questions I just attempted and just couldn't finish. There were some questions I, I'm sure I did wrong, but it ended up being fine. I got on the interview, I got into the school. We're looking for three numbers. A, B and C, where they can't all be positive, and where B is the average of A and C, and A squared is the average of B squared and C squared. You could do this question by just having a lucky guess, but I just want to show you how to do it algebraically today. Well, two numbers, if we're taking the average of them, we add them up and then just divide it by two. So we can write B as A plus C over two. We can do a similar thing on the second bit, where we say a squared is, oh, that's a, okay. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. That is a square, by the way, if you can't tell, um, over two. So I want to rearrange this equation so I can plug it in the second equation I have. So we can just say, if we times both sides by two, we can say 2b is equal to a plus c. Yes, we can say that. Um, and I want to rearrange it so everything equals to c. You can just choose whichever, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna say 2b minus a is equal to c. Now we have a nice expression that we could just plug in instead of c. So we could just say that a squared is equal to b squared plus we have this whole expression there. We say 2b minus a, don't forget to square there, the whole thing with the brackets, over two. Return. Um, so we can write minus 4ab as minus 5ab plus AB, because they add up to minus four AB. And then you've got minus A squared and five B squared is equal to zero. Well, we can factorize the five B out of here. So we could just say five B. If we factorize it out, we're left with B here, minus we're left with A here. And then same here, we just factorize A out here because they have A in common and we're left with B on this side and A on that side. So now we have it nice and factorized, we can say 5B plus A times B minus A is equal to zero. Well, for this to equal to zero, one of the factors have to be zero. So either this bracket is equal to zero or that bracket is equal to zero. So we could say B minus A is equal to zero, but this means that A is equal to B, which was said in the question that they have to be different numbers, so we cannot use this expression. And we've got the other one where 5b plus a is equal to zero. And we could just say that 5b is equal to minus a. So this means if we have one, if we put plug in one for b, we have to have a as minus five. So in summary, we've done our quadratic, we've done our equation, and we concluded that A can be equal to minus five, B can be equal to one, and C can be equal to seven. And don't forget, when you're doing the test, you sadly will not have this big, nice paper. You will be doing it on actual line paper. When I finished the test, I did feel a bit 
Like, I didn't know what to think because I didn't have many friends around me that applied to the school, so I couldn't ask people how they did, or I was thinking, oh, did I just not do enough questions? After the test, I waited to uh, receive an email that did say I got accepted to do an interview. I, I was really happy. I just sent it to my dad and yeah, we were quite, <laughs> we were quite joyful about it. <laughs> And then the next stage I had to do an interview. It was, it had two parts to it. It was a maths interview and it was a personal one. And yeah, after that, I got an email again saying that I got accepted. Since I started King's Math School, I made a lot of new friends. I just love the community we have here, how we can discuss common interests. And I love the teachers, how they're really interested. They actually want to help you and teach you stuff instead of make you memorize stuff. Uh, we have a lot of whiteboards around the school, which is quite nice because we can do a lot of collaboration stuff. If I was to give you three tips about the admissions test, I would just say get a good night's sleep and a nice breakfast to make you ready for the test. Make sure you check how long it takes for you to get there. You do not want to be late. And good luck.